All right. If you uh, have your um, Bibles this morning, let's go to the book of uh, Philippians. We're going to go to the book of Philippians. Philippians chapter 2 and verse 5. When you find it, say amen. Philippians chapter 2 and verse 5. And if you don't have your Bibles, just look on the screen. Amen. Mine's going to read just a little different, but I'll, I'll read them both. Um, the version that I'm using says it like this. Let this mind be in you, which, is, which was also in Christ Jesus, Philippians 2 and 5. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Have this mind in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Amen. Have this mind in you that was also in Christ Jesus. Man, let us pray. Eternal God, our Father, we thank you, Lord, for this day. We thank you, Father, for another opportunity to uh, just come together, uh, to love one another, to encourage one another. Lord, to be a, just to be a leaning post for those who may be down in their spirit. Father God, um, we thank you that, that you still shine your grace and your mercy upon us every day. Father, we just give you praise today for who you are. We thank you for whose we are. Lord God, we thank you for watching over us last night as we slumbered and slept. Lord, we didn't even know we were in the world. But you kept us breathing. You kept our heart beating. Father God, you kept us alive. And we say thank you. Father God, you... You, you showed us traveling grace as we drove to this destination. You kept the, the drunk driver on the other side of the road and the one who was texting while driving, Father God. You kept them on the other side of the road. And we thank you for getting us here safe. Father God, thank you for that convicting spirit that is within all of us. For when we make mistakes and we do things that are against your will and against your word and against your ways, Father God, your spirit convicts us has us to call out to you, Abba, Father. And Lord God, every time we call your name, you answer. And we say thank you, Lord God, for not turning your back on us because we don't deserve your grace and your mercy. Lord God, for not making us, making us feel like we're not important, Father God, because you loved us so much that you gave your only begotten Son that whosoever shall believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. We thank you for that everlasting life. We thank you, Father, for the same spirit within us that, that rose your son Jesus from the dead. We thank you, Lord God, that you trust us with your ministry. You trust us with your word. You trust us to pray, Father God. We thank you that you allow us to be a part of your big plan. Father God, we thank you that you continue to watch over our children. We thank you, Lord God, that you have bound us together in love. Father God, there is none like you. And we thank you today. There's nobody like you, God. There's nobody like you. You are the author and the finisher of our faith. And we say thank you, God. We thank you for brand new grace and brand new mercy every day. Because you said in your word that the wages of sin is death. And we've all sinned and fallen short of your glory and we didn't die. And the reason we didn't die is because of you. So we say thank you, God. Thank you, Father God. For all the things that you continue to bless us with that we don't deserve. Father God, just be with me as I prepare to, to share the message that you've given me on this day. Father, thank you for the songs, for the prayers, for the smiles, for the laughs. Lord, we just thank you today. And it's in a holy and awesome and mighty name of Jesus that I pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. 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 All right. Is there anybody out there that count how many times it's Sunday I say amen? That's the kind of silly stuff my brother and I used to do in church. Uh, we had a preacher that say amen every, after everything he said, and we, we would put a mark down every time he said amen. So y'all don't, don't do me like that, y'all. <laughs> hey, but the Bible says that, that you reap what you sow. Amen. So somebody out there said, how did he know? My wife told me to stop saying uh so much, too. Uh, 
Last week, um, we had a little bit of fun, and, and I preached a sermon called Living My Best Life. Amen. Y'all know there's a popular song out right now, and the song says, I'm living my best life. I ain't going back and forth with you uh, people. Amen. <laughs> some of y'all heard that, some of you haven't. But you know, as a Christian, I, I have to live my, my best life. Amen. And I believe that, that even in these last and evil days, you and I have the ability to live our best life. God called us the light and the salt of this earth. And what good is the salt if it's lost its savior, if it's lost its flavor? So guess what? I want to keep my flavor. I want to keep my saltiness. I want to keep my effect uh, in regards to the body of Christ. Are y'all going to pray with me? So, so I, I need as a Christian to live my best life. Amen. I, I need to make sure that I'm an example, amen, uh, uh, of a true believer, that I'm living a life that is Christ-like. Are y'all with me this morning? So, so I want to talk about, amen, in, in our Living My Best Life series, I just want to simply say this, be a positive person. Amen. So, so that's what Pastor McGuire is going to talk about today. Look at your name and say, neighbor. Pastor McGuire is going to talk about be a positive person. Who be a positive person? Amen. Y'all, y'all heard the word. Y'all heard the saying. Nothing from nothing leaves nothing. Amen. If I can't help you, I'm not going to hurt you. Amen. I, I want to be a positive addition to somebody's life. Amen. I want to bring value to someone's life. Are y'all with me this morning? Yeah. Amen. I want to be a positive person. Is there anybody here, amen, that's just tired of being around negative folks? Yeah. Amen. That's always talking down, always hating, always lying. And I'm not no fussy type preacher. But y'all, I'm, I'm really tired. That's really played out. Yeah. Amen. Being, look, look at his neighbor say, neighbor, being negative is played out. Yeah. It, it, it's really played out. Amen. You know, a lot of people don't go to church because sometimes church is the most negative place you can be. How many of y'all been to the church where the preacher sent everybody to hell? All y'all going to hell, going to bust hell wide open. Y'all know what I'm talking about, that fire and brimstone preacher. And yes, hell is real, but I ain't going. Amen. And if you accepted Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior, you ain't going either. Y'all going to pray with me this morning. I, I, I really want to be a positive person. Want to be a y'all remember uh what what was it uh Winnie the Pooh, what was it was it Eeyore was that the name what was the big the big uh that was Eeyore the donkey was that he just well, which one was it so negative Eeyore he just uh, every time you just you <laughs> that's why some of y'all come around I'm like oh lord here they go uh, oh. I mean really. I, I want to be a positive person. Book of Philippians, my brothers and sisters. The author of Philippians is the Apostle Paul, along with Timothy. They wrote this around 60 AD. That's after Christ had died. Y'all stay with me here. In, in the book of Philippians, there are 16 references to the word joy or rejoicing. The, the 16 times this is referenced. Amen. Now, wait a minute. Paul's in jail when he writes this, but he's talking to the church at Philippi, uh, uh, about being joyous and about rejoicing, about being happy and about being excited. How many of us, amen, could be locked up in jail and write into other folks, tell them you need to be happy? Amen. My sister, well, I had one hand <laughs> jumped up and said, me? That's good. This was an upbeat letter. Even though he was in bonds, not only was he in jail, but he was shackled up. He was in, uh, if you were in jail before, he was in the shoe. He was in solitary confinement. But he's writing a letter to the church about being encouraged. Are y'all with me this morning? And he's telling them that you really need to be a positive person. He said, here, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Now, he's talking about the humanity of Jesus Christ. The man part of Jesus Christ was a positive guy. How do you know? Because when, when somebody was blind, he touched them and, ma and made them see. That's positive. Amen. Hey, man, when, when they would run around in the graveyard, butt naked, talk, act, full of demonic spirits, guess what? He called them out. That's positive. 
5,000? He fed 5,000 with two fish and five bucks. That's positive. Show up at my house. Amen. Touch my groceries, Jesus, right now. He brought value and he brought a positive outlook everywhere that he went. Are y'all going to pray with me this morning? Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Let this mind be in you. So Paul wouldn't have told him that unless it was possible. So guess what? Can I help you this morning? Let this mind be in you that is also in Christ Jesus. What are you saying? When things are negative, you got to be positive. When things look bad, you got to, all things work together for good for those who love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. Quit walking around kicking rocks. Y'all know why a lot of churches are empty? Because everybody in the church is negative. Show up to church in a short skirt. Baby, we going to have to do this. Uh, baby, you're showing too much leg. Baby, that's too much up top. That's, you got to cover that, baby. Some of y'all can't cover it. It's big. I, my wife struggles. But you want to kick folks out of the church? They come here all choked up because you look. What you looking for? Baby, it's men in here. You got, you got to come. In. Okay, give them time. Amen? Because some folks in here, guess what? They club clothes and church clothes is the same thing. God's still doing the work. You know, you on the do, but you can pull your pants. So he'll pull them up. When the, when the Holy Spirit, you know, convicts him to. Other than that, you quit looking. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm, I'm tripping today. Be a positive person. You know, that individual might have been abused and talked about their whole life. And then they come to church looking for some help, looking for some love. And then now you acting like the rest of the world. I, I, yep. Guess what? We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna comfort the afflicted and we're going to afflict the comforted today. Amen. Some, some of us done got way too comfortable. Be a positive person. Be positive. How, how can I be a positive person, Pastor McGuire? Good question. Glad you asked. You can be a positive person. Number one, write this down. Number one, write this down. Think positive thoughts. Whoa, that was hard, wasn't it? Oh my God, my pastor is so deep. <laughs> See, that's what's wrong with us as preachers. We're trying to be too deep. We're trying to use words that we don't even understand. We had to look them up before we wrote them down. Y'all ever heard a preacher preach a sermon and he couldn't even pronounce a word that's in it? Okay. I used to do that. <laughs> Think positive thoughts. Philippians 4 and 8 says it like this. Y'all ready? Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report. Woo, I'm preaching. If there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. What are you saying, Pastor? I'm saying whatsoever things are of good report, think on these things. Think on how many, how many of us really give positive things thought? Y'all know what? I'm sick of my TV. You know why? Because I'm sick of politicians and these hate ads. I ain't got to hate on nobody else to get where I'm trying to go. Oh, I'm sorry. Some of y'all don't like it, but I'm going to say it. I am sick. They, they shouldn't even be able to be on TV. If, if I'm running for office, if I'm trying, I ain't got a dog. You have to prove who I am. I don't have to disprove you to prove me. I'm sick of all of them. And y'all, we call writing them, it's negative. You turn on your TV, it's negative. I'm tired of it. That's why I got to tell you to be a positive person. The book, the Bible tells us whatsoever things are of good report. Think on these things. Problem with us is, guys, you, you know, you, you, know, well, you think, you, you ever just thought in your mind just bad things? It just seemed like, you know, I used to think of, like, I, before I go to bed, because I was one of them little kids that was hollering and scared all the time. You know, I, be, I see, like, Freddy Krueger and Jason and all them be in the room with me. You know, I, I don't know what was wrong with me, y'all. But I had nightmares and stuff. But, but before I go to bed, I start thinking about Freddy Krueger. Then I go to bed, and he be standing in the corner smoking a cigarette. 
but I put it in my head. Amen. But then I started thinking about I started thinking about Dukes of Hazard, the Duke boys, and I <laughs> started thinking about Uncle Jesse, and I started thinking about uh, uh, Chips. Uh, what was it, Ponton? Uh, what was the other guy's name on Chips? John and Paul. I started thinking about positive things. And you know what? Then I started having nightmares at night because before, you know, I would have anxiety before I went to bed. Are y'all with me? You know, well, even, even in going to church, guys, y'all you know, know how you hear about church business and stuff be going on at church. When I decided to, to concentrate on the positive things about ministry, guess what? We started having a good time because I started thinking on positive things. You know what? I started thinking about the pews being full instead of the pews being empty. Amen? And it all starts with your mind. Those things, my brothers and sisters, that are of good report, think on those things. Hey, before you shoot the ball, you got to see it going through the net. And why I can shoot from anywhere. I was like Steph Curry, huh? I let it go and take out running the other way. Y'all think I'm playing, don't you? Some of y'all remember me. Mm hmm. <laughs> My brothers and sisters, some Christians fail to discipline their thinking, they allow negatives to dominate their minds. How many people y'all know just all the time? You know what? We got to separate ourselves from people that suffer from stinking thinking. Oh, I'm preaching, but you, you know, there's somebody right now you're thinking, you know what? I do have to cut them off. Girl, let me tell you. <laughs> Leave him. <laughs> now that's in your mind all day. Leave him. Leave him. She left her man five years ago, and she still ain't recovered. Matter of fact, she wants you to leave him so she can get him. That's some old hood gangster stuff right there. That's just, I'm sorry, but we got to talk about it. You got to be careful what you let people plant in your head. We got to see the ball going through the net. Hey man, but, but, you know, as soon as you let it go, you got to see yourself running across the finish line, across the, uh, the t you got to see yourself scoring a touchdown. Yeah. Hey man, you got to see yourself with that promotion. Sometimes you got to see yourself in heaven, church. Yeah. Hey Amen. My, 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 my brothers, we have, to be, we have to be deliberate in replacing all these negative thoughts. We got to be deliberate. You know what? But, yeah, church is such a crazy thing, y'all. Preachers, there's always been an issue between preachers and deacons. How many of y'all know that? Y'all know that? But guess what? Not here. You know why? Because we don't concentrate on all that negative stuff. We don't put all that. We ain't fighting among, uh, with each other. Amen. As goes the head goes the tail. If that's confusion between the pastor and the deacons, the church show going to be jacked up. But it starts with a thought process. I can't wait to see these brothers on Sunday morning. Ain't God all right? Think positive thoughts. You got it, Tierra? All right. Think positive thoughts. And then, then we got to hear positive sounds. You got to hear positive. You got to make sure you put yourself in a position to hear positive sounds. Amen? That's why we need Tony Boss in here. Don't Tony Boss just soothe your soul some Sunday mornings? You just need to hear Boss on the organ, on the keyboard. Amen. You just need to hear the choir sing a song or two. You just need, amen, to hear somebody say something positive. This morning, y'all, I kind of struggle with my 8 o'clock message because sometimes the messages don't really come out the way I wanted them to. And, and I was sitting back there and I was talking to, uh, uh, I was talking to Coach Taylor and, uh, and Janelle and uh, I, was get, I was meeting a new baby and everything back there. And then one of the ladies that hadn't been here in a while, she was here at the 8 o'clock service, she came up to me and she said, Pastor McGuire, I needed that sermon. I said, really? I'm like, look here, really? She said, oh, I'm so glad. She said, it's been a while. I've been working. I had not been able to be here, but that sermon was for me. Y'all know what? Boy, it sure made me feel good to hear something positive. Amen? Amen? Amen. You know what? And when people say something positive, receive it. Because you know what? That message wasn't my message because it didn't come out the way I had planned for it to, but the Holy Spirit changed that thing around. Are y'all going to pray with me? I struggled with it, but God made it where it was positive for somebody else. Many people listen 
listen to filth and smut and, and they listen to the, 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 the destruction across the airways. Guys, you know what? Sometimes we're going to turn our TV off. We got to turn the radio off. Because y'all, come on, this music, come on, y'all, come on. I never thought I'd be one to really dog out the music, but man, there's some negative stuff out there. And if you're not strong enough spiritually, guess what? Leave it alone. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm going to say it again. Can I tell you young folks something? When I got really serious about my walk, my wife, she can back it up. Because I love me some Tupac and Big and some UGK. That's old school stuff. Jay-Z, back in the day. What else? I ain't going to call them all out. Okay. <laughs> But I, I, took, I, I couldn't listen, I didn't listen to rap, I didn't listen to those CDs for three years because I wasn't strong enough. Are y'all gonna pray with me? I ain't telling you, you know, if, 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 you, if you got a problem smoking weed and it, weed is really giving you problems and issues in your life and you lost a job because you smoking weed, are y'all with me? You, you, you know, and you, you scared every day that you're gonna get hit with a random and you listen to music and all they talking about is smoking weed and getting drunk. You, you, you struggle with, with, with infidelity and every song you listen to is old nasty, dirty song. Girl, you look good. Won't you back that thing? You can't listen to that because you're going to. I'm sorry. And I know we got visitors here. Brother, I'm sorry. I apologize. But you know, you know, everybody can't handle that because you I'm just saying, you don't listen to it because it's going to put you somewhere you don't need to be. Man, you know, I'm going to tell y'all something. I quit listening to country music because I like country music too. Y'all see how I pointed at the white people when I said that? <laughs> I stopped listening to country music when I was trying to stop drinking beer because, man, country music made me want to drink a cold beer. It's just something about it. Just down, 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 down. So don't get hung up on the rap music. It was a whole lot of things that I had to quit listening to because it was in my head. And that country music made me want to drink. <laughs> I'm sorry, brother. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> I love my brother. He just be looking at me like, I don't know why I keep coming back every Sunday listening to this dude. Y'all know I'm telling the truth. Some of y'all struggling right now. You know, because you're listening to the wrong things. Ooh, Lord Jesus. Woo. Boy, where's Colleen when you need her? We got to listen to good stuff, y'all, not the bad. You know, I, I flipped them CDs. Man, I found me some good gospel rap CDs because I like that bass. I like to feel it. Mm. You know, I like to mm. boom. You know, I like to feel it. I don't just like to listen to music. I like to feel the music. Amen. I, I got my gospel music CDs, you know, and started listening to those. And I'm like, man, that sound. You know what? I can bob my head to that too. And I don't even want to drink or smoke or cheat. <laughs> can I believe I said, oh. I mean, man, when you, I mean, you know, when you listen to a song, you know, y'all know some of them songs that you listen to, man, just put you in that mindset. Okay, my brother, y'all little brother, like, oh, leave that alone. <laughs> Number three, as I hurry to my clothes. You got to see positive sights. Not, not only think positive thoughts but, but, and hear positive sounds, but, but number three, you got you to gotta see positive sights. Amen? Hebrews 12 and 2 says it like this. It says, looking unto Jesus. Oh, come on, y'all. Looking unto Jesus, who, uh, the author and the finisher of our faith. And I'm going to stop right there. Looking unto Jesus, who is the author and the finisher of our faith. So if we're going to be a positive person, we got to think positive thoughts. we got to hear positive sounds. And then we have to see positive sights. I'm looking toward Jesus. Let, let me tell you something. Uh, I'm living my best life. I ain't got time to be looking at y'all. Because if you know what, if I based my ministry and I based my sermon on some of, how some of y'all look at me on Sunday morning, I'd run off stage. I'd run from behind this pulpit. Are y'all with me this morning? So I'm looking unto Jesus who is the author and the finisher of my faith. I'm not worried about folks' faces. 
Some, 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 some Christians, they, 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 we look for bad people. And here's the thing. If we look to Jesus, we're not looking to bad people and bad circumstances, seeing only the faults and the negatives. Some of us can't get, past, can't get positive because we're looking for wrong in everybody else. Okay, you, we turn into referees. Spiritual referees throwing, throwing flags and blowing whistles. Ah! How many of y'all know some church referees? Some church officials that, that, that's blowing whistles and throwing flags. Talking about what everybody else is doing and you're doing the same thing. Amen. To be a positive person, you got to look for the good. And you got to look to Jesus. Guess what? Everybody come in contact, I find something good about you. I'm telling you, I find something good about you no matter who you are. I do not concentrate on what our differences, but I concentrate on what we have in common. And if the only thing we have in common is Jesus, guess what? We're going to talk about Jesus. If the only thing we have in common is I got a pit bull, you got a pit bull, let's talk about pit bulls. Are y'all with me? Concentrate on the positive and not the negative. We got to see positive thoughts. I got to pull positive things out of you. Hey Amen? You got to pull positive things out of me. And if you're around somebody and you can't find nothing positive in them, Deuces. If you're not adding value to me, that means you're taking something from me. Live my best life. I want to be positive. When you hang out at the barbershop long enough, you're going to get a haircut. It's the right call, though. Some of them, some of them fellas have been there hanging out talking and then for long. Hey, man, go on, edge me up, Carla. Hook me up, brother up. What you, what you sow to, you grow to. Ooh. What, what you sow to, you grow to. That's why when I started sowing into the church and I kept sowing into the church and I kept sowing into the church, guess what? It just became who I am. You know, I used to be Shannon McGuire, the, the basketball player, and, and, and dude that, 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 you know, the, you know back in the, me and Cannon have been together a long time, so I was that, I'm that dude with the white girl, you know what I'm saying? I mean, that's who I was, the basketball player and, and dude, Shannon Candy, they out there in Roxton in the country, and it was a whole big story about us, Lord Jesus. Y'all know we were in school, they took us in the office and told us we couldn't talk to each other. It's, no, we're not going to do that here, it's not going to happen, no. No, you're not doing it. Can y'all believe that? That wasn't positive. That was negative. Can you believe that, Johnny? Uh, they, you went to North Lamar, though, didn't you? Yeah, they. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just. I, I. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh God, our visitors are not coming back now. Oh, well, Lord, send us some more, folks. <laughs> you you got to see positive sights. You also got to, number four, write this down. You got to speak positive words. You got to speak positive words. Look at the neighbor and say, you got to speak positive words. That's all? Going to participate? Just two of y'all? You got to speak positive words. PJC, y'all got to speak positive words. Fellas, y'all 2 and 0. Oh. Y'all not 2 and 0. Oh. Y'all need to speak positive words to the girls. Y'all encourage the girls. Say, girls, y'all can do it. Come on. Yeah. Who? Y'all get in there. Next game they have. Who? Come on. Who? Yeah. Come on. Come on, girls. Y'all got this. Y'all need to get in the stands and that crazy. Show them you got their back. Amen. You got to speak positive words. They don't worry about it. Hey, that's all right. We're going to win the rest of them. Are y'all with me this morning? Psalms 105, it says like this, sing it to him, sing psalms unto him. He says, talk ye of all the wondrous works. Amen. The psalmist says, he says, talk ye of all the wondrous works. Guess what, guys? When I meet people, I tell people about all the good things the Lord has done for me. All of his wondrous works. Guess what? You got to speak positive things. I'm going to folks, oh, man, I'm just, y'all met somebody, you meet them, they say, oh, I'm just tired. Man, how you doing? I'm tired. Oh, get away from me then, because I don't want to be tired. I got too much to do to be tired. I don't even use tired detergent. I use cheer. All. Oh. <laughs> I don't want nothing negative around me. Get ye behind me, Satan. I ain't trying to hear all of that. Guys, here, 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 a lot of people only talk about bad and evil events. How many of y'all know folks like they don't talk about bad stuff? Had some people I had to cut off. I told y'all about my buddy that cusses all the time at work. It's just, nobody's live. Okay, good. All right. Yeah, he cusses all the time. 
and, and they talk about bad stuff. And y'all had to catch myself. I'm like, wait a minute, you. Every time I go in the break room with this dude, we drink a coffee and we start talking crazy. He was started. <laughs> Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ. And then, boy, one time, you know, uh, this guy walked in and he had a what would Jesus do bracelet on. And I just looked at that bracelet while we was having a bad conversation. And the Lord convicted me right there. I said, Lord, I'm sorry. And I ain't coming in here drinking coffee with this fool no more. Because I'm way out of character. And I don't care how strong you are. I don't care who you are. We, 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 people can pull. Y'all, y'all, ne that negative force is something serious. Amen. You, you ever go, you ever went, you know, you ever go to the club, say you wasn't going to drink. And be t come out toe up. I ain't doing this no more. This is it. I ain't no more. I, Lord, if you just bless me this time, Lord, just. You had good intentions going in because of what was going on around you. Amen? I'm sorry, y'all. Visitors, I'm sorry. Talk of all his wondrous works. We should talk positive, and we should seek the glory of God and, and, and we, have to, we have to extol, the word is extol his goodness. Amen. That means to, uh, to extol is to, to give praise to where praises are due. Amen. Are y'all with me? His goodness and his grace and his love. Guys, we should always be excited about God's goodness and about God's grace. Amen. Amen. Woo. I'm, I'm almost done. And then, amen, in order for us to live our best life, amen, in order for us to be a positive person, not only should we think positive thoughts and hear positive sounds and see positive, uh, and see positive things, amen, or see positive sights, but, but we also need to, 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 to speak uh, positive words, amen. But as I heard to my close, we have to perform positive deeds. Amen. When's the last time you, what happened? <laughs> what, when's the last time you done something good for somebody? Here's it. Let this mind be in you, which is also in Christ. Guess what? What did Christ do for you today? Have you ever taken inventory? He woke me up this morning. He put food on my table. He put clothes on my back. He blessed my children. He blessed my family. Amen. He gave me a job to go. He gave me a place to worship in. He gave me an old raggedy car to drive. Amen. So, so we, you have to perform positive deeds. Colossians 3 and 23. And, I, and I'm, getting ready, I'm getting ready to stop. And whatsoever... Ye do, do it heartedly as to the Lord and not unto me. And that means on your job. You got to perform good deeds even on your job. Because it ain't about who you're working for, it's who you're working for. Amen. It's not about who you're working for, it's who you're really working for. Amen? The deeds of many are negative. They're, they're selfishly motivated, they're dishonest, and they're displeasing to God. So you have to look at what are your motives for doing what you're doing. Are you performing good deeds? Or, 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 or are, you, uh, are you, uh, you just doing stuff to be messy? We, in performing good deeds, we must be truthful and ready to lift those who are down and be a positive witness for Christ. Come on, boss, I'm done. And Finally, here, y'all know the preacher was going to mess the whole sermon up. Y'all ready for this one? Think positive thoughts, hear positive sounds, see positive sights, speak positive words, perform positive deeds. Number six, attend positive places. Psalm 122 and 1. Oh, here we go. Chuck, you might need to come too. Psalm 22 and 1 says, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Amen. And if I want to be a, a, a positive person. I, I got to associate myself with positive places. Are y'all going to pray with me? Christians, my brothers and sisters, hurt their influence. They hurt their witness when they go to the wrong places in search of entertainment. 
Oh, y'all ain't, I thought y'all gonna throw something. <laughs> Guys, the Bible declares that the, that the enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy. Do you understand that he wants to kill your witness? Amen. That, that, that's why people, you know, when you go to places that you really shouldn't go. Man, I know this is tough. Amen. Some people, there's some places, guys, it's like, like going to Toco. Y'all know Toco. How many of y'all know Toco is? They sell beer in town now, but they used to just be in Toco. If I need a bag of ice, Candy calls me, I'm halfway to Roxton. Toco is halfway, and I'm like, at Toco. And I need a bag of ice. I turn all the way back around and go back to Paris. Brother Ray said, uh-uh, I don't do that. Yeah, I'm going to Toco. I'm going to... I'm going there and get it. I try to avoid places. Now, I'm not saying that it's a bad place. They sell Cokes and chips and all that stuff in there. But guys, you got to be careful. That maybe somebody wants to justify their problem or their issue, and then they see pastor coming up out of there, guess what? Now, I'm a stumbling block for somebody. Are oh, y'all going to pray with me? I'm, just, I'm talking about me. You don't have to. You, don't even, you can scratch this off your notes today if you want to. But we, we, we have to be a, a positive Christian, and we have to attend church faithfully. Amen. Guys, it's important that you're here. Amen. How many of y'all miss church, and in that week, seem like all hell break loose? Amen. You need this, because your, spiritually, your spirit needs to be spiritually fed. Amen. Man, you, you stop at the gas station when you need gas in your car. Guess what? This is the, same, this is the filling station. Amen. And the Bible says to, to, to forsake not the assembly of ourselves together to exhort one another, to encourage one another. We don't come here to beat each other down. I don't come here to judge you and what you're doing because we've all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. But I'm trying to help you, me, and everybody else be a more positive person so we can be an influence in Paris, Texas. He has called us to be the light and the salt of this earth. And we all have a job to do. And you're not going to be able to be an effective leader, an effective disciple, a defective, uh, 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 an effective church member, an effective Christian, an effective husband, wife, college student, whatever it may be, parent, unless you become positive and be led by the Holy Spirit and allow the same mind that's in Christ to be in you. And you have the ability to be what Christ has called you to be. You don't have to be negative and and negative Andy, amen. You can lift up your head because the same spirit that raised Jesus Christ from the dead is within you because Jesus gave his life for you. He gave his life for you. He went down and sat at the right hand of the Father in order to put his spirit inside of you so you would have him every day you have a confidence you're not by yourself hey amen you got Jesus in you somebody ought to shout hallelujah be a positive person church time out man for the church being like referees throwing, throwing flags and blowing whistles be a positive person Guys, there are people out there that, that Pastor McGuire are never going to reach. There are people out there that are never going to step foot in the church, and they still need to be saved. Amen. Amen? Amen? Guys, be careful, because the enemy wants to kill your witness. That's what he wants to do. He wants to kill your witness. Where nobody, uh, nobody will be able to, to, to absorb the positive that you have in you that God has placed in you. Man, he wants to kill the ministry that's in you. Don't allow the enemy to take that away from you. Guys, we all have a great opportunity to do awesome things. All of us. And guess what? Christ didn't die just for us to sit around and do nothing. Christ didn't die just for us to sit around and, and be negative and talk down on people and to even talk down on ourselves. I'm telling you, y'all, look in the mirror today. Look in the mirror. Look at yourself. And I want you to look at yourself, and I want you to realize that Christ gave his life for you. I mean, totally gave his life. He died for you. Just for you. And you know what's crazy about it? Jada, he saw your whole life from the end all the way back to the beginning. He knew, he knew you were going to be in a boot this morning. He knew you were going to be in a boot this morning, but he said that he'll never leave you nor forsake you. He's a healer. God already knew it. So guess what? You can't sit around and worry about it. Lift your head up. Be positive. Guess what? You got to be a cheerleader for the rest of these girls. They're looking up to you. So guess what? You got to encourage them. That is what it is, and it's going to be all right. 
All things work together for good. It's his business, not ours. We can't, we can't control God's universe and God's world. But guys, we can be the best followers of Christ and allow the same. He said, he wouldn't have said have the same mind in you that's also in Christ if we couldn't do it. You have that ability. How many of y'all want to have the same mind as Christ? I want to think like him. <laughs> I want to love like him. I want to give like him. I'm sorry, y'all. I want to be like him. The same mind that's in Christ. And also being you. Let's lift our heads up. And let's be what God called us to be. Think about it, man. He sent, this man sent his son to die for us. He loved us that much. The least we can do is be a positive representative for him. I brag about my daddy all the time, even though he sleep up here on the second row. <laughs> brag about my daddy all the time. That's my daddy. He took good care of his boy. Amen. We might not have had the, the new Jordans, but we had the ones that was on sale. We had the old ones. Amen. We, you know, when he figured out it wasn't cool to wear pro wings, he, he, we, he upgraded us. See, I don't remember them pro wings and winner's choice. Me playing basketball, you mark up the whole floor. But when daddy figured out they was making fun of us at school, he said, no, but what, what, what they wearing? Our Nikes? Nikes, Adidas. So, mom and daddy hooked us up. Positive. Guys, let's be positive. I, I, be a be, let's be a better person, okay? That's all I'm saying. The same mind as in Christ can be in you. You know what? In Christ, Christ so loved the people who didn't love him. So, we got to figure out that love our enemies thing. Amen? I love everybody. Love everybody. Love everybody. Love everybody. Got to love them. No matter what. Man. So, when the law is done, I'm done. If there's anybody here today that's never accepted Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior, we want you to come today. So, here's the deal. Outside of a relationship with Christ, you can't have the same mind. Outside of, you can't have the same mind. So, in order to have the same mindset, you got to be in the family. Somebody, somebody told me that, that, I act, that I act just like my daddy. I talk just like my daddy. You think just like your daddy. So if you're here today and you've never truly accepted him as your Lord and Savior and you want the same mind to be in you that's in him, surrender it all to him today. Don't wait. Does anybody that's looking for a church home and you feel like God is calling you to Paris New Generation, come on and be a part of our church family. The same mind as in Christ can also be in you. Does anybody just need prayer? We want to pray with you. We want to pray for you. Anybody, anybody this morning? What's up, John? I got you, bro. Have you, have you ever accepted Jesus Christ? All All right, my brothers and sisters, we have our sister, Lamisa Fulbright, who has come to be a member of Paris New Generation. She comes with Christian experience this morning. Amen. Monty Felder has come. Amen. He's one of our PJC students. He's coming. Amen. Christian experience to be a part of Paris New Generation church family. He said it's time. He needs a church home. He wants to be part of the family because of all the love that you guys show the positive. Amen. You living your best life has encouraged him. Amen. Sister Fulbright said, I'm coming home. Amen. That's what I'm talking about. Anybody else here? All right. All right. Amen. Gina and Lester Simpson have come to be members of Parish New Generation Church. They said, we ain't got to wait. Amen. This is where we want to be. 
When you follow the spirit of the Lord, hallelujah. Look at God, church. You want to join the church? Looking like your brother. <laughs> What's your name? Kaylin has come to be a part of Parish New Generation family as well. All right. She's been baptized. She's already a child of God. She doesn't need a church home. Amen. It's amazing how God works. Their father passed away a few weeks ago, and they were all here. And not only have uh, his sister, but also his aunts have joined, and they're part of the church as well. All things work together for good for those who love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. Who would have thought that a funeral would turn into a whole family finding a church home? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. We need to pray. We need to pray. Amen. Amen. That's good. Alright. God is so awesome. Y'all know how I get all excited when this happens. I, I'm sorry, but it's just it's just beautiful to see God working. And 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 I just want you guys to know that are joining the church. This is not a perfect church. But we serve a perfect God. And we are saved by a perfect Savior. And we're going to do all that we can to be all that we can be and be those positive people that, that have that same mind that's in Christ. That we, we ain't going to do it. You, you're going to find some love here. Jobs and life, once you leave out of those doors, boy, some negative stuff that goes on out there. But I promise you, we try our best to create an atmosphere. Amen. A uh, uh, peace in this place. That's what we do because we allow the Spirit of God to rest, rule, and abide in all of us at least for two hours on Sunday morning. Amen. So we just thank you for trusting Parents New Generation as your church home. Amen. Let us pray. Father God, we come right now as humble as we know how. Father, thanking you for those who have come this morning. Lord, you know every situation every circumstance every problem every issue everything that's going on here at this altar father god there is a need for unity there is a need for teamwork there is a need for trust at this altar father god the request has been made and lord god we ask you to step into that situation right now Fix it like only you can fix it. Mend it and mold it into what you want it to be, Father God. We come standing here with 100% faith that you are the answer or prayer, Father God. Lord, do it right now. We claim it right now in the name of Jesus. Father, for the sick, for the for the disease, Lord, for the for for the uh, just just for the ailment, Father God. We know that you are a healer, and if you can heal the woman who had the issue of blood for over 12 years. Lord, you can heal this. Lord, we ask you to touch the hands of the doctors and the nurses, Father God. Have them to come with 100% agape love, Father God. That they would, they would do what needs to be done, Father God, and you're going to receive all the glory. Father God, for my brothers and my sisters, Father God, that just said they just needed prayer. You know, Lord, what the request is. You said, Father God, in your word that the Holy Spirit will interpret our prayers. So, Father God, even though I don't know exactly what to say, you know exactly what the need is because you created us. You made us and you've already seen this day. So, Lord, move today on their behalf, Father God. But not only on their behalf, but on your son's name, Father God. We're standing here on the name of Jesus Christ. So we ask you to move on his name, not our name. Move on his name, not the situation. Move on his name, Father God. Lord, we just thank you today. And we thank you for the families who are trusting Parents New Generation to be their church home. Father, we just pray that we would be the type of church that you called us to be and we would do what you called us to do, Father God. We thank you for these young people, Father God, that even in their young age, Lord, they're choosing to trust you. 
Father, we just give you praise. We give you honor and glory. And it's in the mighty name of Jesus. It is so. It is so. It is so in the name of Jesus. Amen and thank God. Let's get a lot of great hand clap of praise in this house. Come on. Come on, come on.